So what does sacred geometry and vibration frequencies have to do with art and technology? Well, I'm here at the LLND Art Studio to find out exactly that. So let's go talk to the artist and see what it's all about. What we're working on today is a, a performance uh, that combines a lot of the mediums we've been working on in the past years. All the tools we made are related to sound and its vibration, focusing on this uh, cosmic resonance. So we use a lot of um, science behind all of this. All things is the same matter, and all the matter is in vibration, e everything. Also our body, also the planet, also very short element, like alive, all things is alive. Natalie and Laurent met in 2003 and soon after began their duo, LLND. Based in Shanghai since 2009, the two artists have had many exhibitions of their audiovisual installations throughout China and abroad. Studying the planets orbiting and um, their relationship within this solar system and uh, the impact on Earth and how to visualize all of this um, with sound. So we see things with sound and we hear things with visuals. And often they make a, a cycle and the cycle is, is like a loop but uh, in, in sound, in frequency, you make also some waves. Their work's been sold to many private collectors such as famed buyer Bernard Arno, chairman of LVMH and also a renowned art collector. Now with their recent exhibition at the Shanghai Art and Design Fair, LLND gave quite an interesting performance. But what is sacred geometry and why is it important for us to be aware of this golden ratio? Sacred geometry is um, one of the most ancient uh, visualization of sound, in a way. Sound is uh, this, um, always talked in many um, writings uh, about uh, this um, a known extreme force, uh, so we are always um, interested about the um, power of sound and how to share this in our artworks, um, because um, you can see most of our images always have a feeling of uh, vibrance and uh, sound. And uh, this way gives some special shape uh, with the sound or also with uh, the water and uh, usually it's like sacred geometry things. Drawing inspirations from Hans Jenny's somatic, Natalie and Laurent create their own tools to project sacred geometrical shapes. We, we're not looking to make sacred geometry shapes. Uh, we just find them in uh, the, the tools we created using sound. And uh, this what enables me to say uh, sacred geometry is just uh, the ancient visualizer of sounds. Since always people try to understand what is this sound, what is this uh, cosmic organization or movement and uh, how to understand it better. So we don't tell people how to feel, you know, with our, our artworks. We just give an open gate uh, for people to have a consciousness about uh, themselves maybe and realize how ancient they are in their present. It's interesting uh, you put it uh, together the sound and the water uh, because water is very sensitive to movements, vibrations and um, I think uh, water is a key element to our memory and uh, sound also is uh, in some way always bringing memories back to us if we talk about music for example but if we talk about pure sound uh, maybe it triggers some more ancient memories uh, some very forgotten uh, elements of the past that compose us, all of us, on Earth. The three elements they use for their installations are water, which creates stunning organic shapes 
like the mandala found in many religions throughout the world. Sand creates linear patterns which are represented in math and language. And finally, round metal objects that conduct static reactions to frequencies, resulting in opposing frequencies, much like the relationship between the microscopic and the cosmos. Uh, usually, the sound is invisible, and uh, a lot of things around us is invisible, also the wave, also everything. And uh, it's this kind of feeling, if you have the good eyes or the good ears, you can understand or see the invisible things around you and uh, it's also a mystery in the cosmos. We, we don't know exactly all things uh, there are in the, in the cosmos. It's also invisible, the black matter. So maybe we try to ex not explain but uh, play with this kind of concept. The empty, the, the full um, and the organization of the, of the matter. And uh, the sound is maybe very important in this organization, like we talk together, we influence together the space around us, and maybe in the cosmos is also organization by the vibration of the sound. Sacred geometry can be found everywhere, from nature to art, science, spiritualism, and even ancient and modern architecture. In terms of sacred geometry, it's mathematically explained through the golden ratio. Many great minds in the past and present have contemplated or used this golden ratio. From Plato to da Vinci, and even classical composers such as Bartok and Eric Satay. I think uh, golden ratio is the human understanding of the um, uh, those shapes made by sounds and uh, so um, golden ratio is uh, as you know and everyone is that uh, this ratio you find in um, in nature in uh, many things uh, many geometries and um, occurrence on earth um, that have this uh, same number and uh, but um, before having the number there was the thing <laughs> so it's all here before the ratio uh, before the understanding of the ratio. Um, but um, so it's all timeless in a way. <laughs> As we become more aware of our history and surroundings, we find that sacred geometry and vibration frequencies are timeless throughout our existence in both sight and sound. It was really cool to check out Natalie's and Laurent's art studio. And what we witnessed today is that art, sound, science, technology, and nature has been affecting us before our time and will keep on affecting us beyond our time. This is Christine reporting for City Beat. Okay, that's it. <laughs>